Today I'm doing something I never thought I would seriously do on this channel. Join a family-friendly Christian Minecraft server. And not just any Christian server. Oh no, the Vatican's Minecraft server. Can we talk about how this actually exists? Now, the server was opened by a Vatican priest with the intention of creating a non-toxic environment for Christians to play Minecraft in. Good intentions, but of course, on the internet, when you make something like this, it's very easy to become a target. The server was advertised in several publications such as PC Gamer and Business Insider. Right after this server opened, it was hit with DDoS attacks and was the target of trolls, many of them coming from 4chan's V-Board. I doubt anyone was surprised by this. But all memes and jokes aside, after hearing about it in the news, I became highly interested in joining the server for myself to see what kind of environment you get with Christians and trolls clashing with each other constantly. Today, we explore the Vatican's family-friendly Christian Minecraft server. What could possibly go wrong? Oh god, this is gonna be so scuffed, I can already tell. Oh man, here we go. So, welcome, Fit, to Digital Jesu. Oh boy, there's people swearing in chat already. Already! First second of the actual tour going live, and people are already using some non-family friendly language. Well, here we are on the Vatican's Minecraft server, and it looks just like you would expect a Vatican Minecraft server to look like. There's, I mean, there's a little church here to get us started. I'm sure the rules are in here. All right, the first rule is be kind. Do not cheat, hack, or exploit. I got you. I won't. I promise. <laughs> be respectful to everyone. Do not behave provocative and do not be a goof. Do not grief. Do not steal. Okay, so no fun. No swastikas. No upside down burning crosses. That makes sense. Anarchy in the nether. No protection. No anti-AFK. No AFK farming or lag farming. Okay, okay. Just throwing it out there, I already recognize 2v2t players in chat, so this place has already been infected by the toxicity. Oh boy. What's this? A grave? RIP griefers and hackers. Why, why do I feel like this is foreshadowing? This is definitely foreshadowing. Now that is something I was not expecting to see on the Vatican's Minecraft server. I mean, already, this is just... This is just such a weird, surreal place. Like, how does this server actually exist? It's mind-boggling. Alright, let's see if we can parkour across these posts. Hopefully my vanilla Minecraft skills are not completely rusty. Alright, up. Uh, there we go. Great. Just great. Well, anyway, we can explore the town now, at least. Let me get up here. I'm not gonna hack. Okay, I'm hacking. Oh, but let's see here. There's the even the road color is very <laughs> well. I'm just very surprised that it's uh, it is the way it is on the Vatican. Oh my God, a swastika on the Vatican's Minecraft server. I thought that was against the rules. This is so cursed right now. This is so cursed. Oh my God, I thought 2v2t was bad. But, I mean, to be fair, it is just this priest running the server, so, I mean, it's probably tough for him to be online at all times to, like, censor a lot of this stuff that goes on. Man, but, I mean, when you try to open a Minecraft server that's a toxic-free place and you advertise it as such, you're going to attract the opposite. That's the contrarian nature of trolls on the internet. You know, I mean, it's just, uh, this is going to be a learning experience, to say the least. I have yet to see a single person get banned for language so far, so maybe the mods are asleep. But there's no grief protection on these builds, so the fact that some of them are standing like this, the trolls haven't been that successful, I guess. I got some food now. I'm gonna kind of explore this area over here. And I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What, that, what? What? Oh my god, is this a sign from the Lord? They're just appearing in front of me right now? Oh my god. Oh, sorry if interrupting. It's okay, God. You can interrupt me whenever you want. It's okay. What are you going to say to me, Lord? 
This is a miracle I'm witnessing right now. God is trying to slide into FitMC's DMs. That's a new one. Now, oh. It's probably just an administrator that's ghosting me right now. Well, I need to be on my best behavior then, don't I? Yep, I'm nothing to see here. I'm just playing Minecraft, getting some wood, getting some tools, playing the game normally. Just a good Christian boy. Get my stone tools. Yep, nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. That's right. The server's lagging a lot right now. I bet you it's being DDoSed. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Lag has not gotten any better. I would bet money that it's a DDoS attack. Absolutely. Let's... And would you look at that. Like pottery, folks. Like pottery. Alright, we're back online. The server was down for about 10 minutes. So, you know, it... The trolls took it down for a decent amount of time, I guess. No rest for the weary. No rest for the wicked, either. Oh, there's a ban for swastikas. Okay, so people are actually getting banned for that stuff. All right, so there is some administration going on. You know, I gotta say, being a bald guy on this server, I am overpowered. I mean, even in the Bible, bald guys are overpowered. Remember that one passage from Two Kings? Where those little kids were making fun of that guy for being bald, so he cursed them in the name of the Lord. And two bears came out of the wilderness and mauled 42 children, ripped them to pieces. God, I love that Bible verse so much. But anyway, I don't see any bears around here, so I can't use any to my advantage, sadly. But let's check out the spawn point one more time. So, now that I've got my hacks turned on, I really kind of want to start... Uh, Seeing how badly this server can be broken, you know? Um, I'm, I'm not talking anything super crazy, but I mean just like movement exploits. What is allowed and what is not allowed? Can I speed hack? Can I Jesus hack across the water? Can I walk on water? You know, there's so many things I want to try out right now. The server is pretty populated right now. A lot of people are actually like genuinely interested in this server, which, hey, more power to you. Whoa. I saw that. You used Kill Aura. I'm not stupid. I heard the sound. So it looks like I'm not the only person hacking on this server right now, which only reaffirms my suspicion there's 2B2T players here. Definitely. Something I have noticed so far is that even though this is a Vatican Minecraft server, I don't see anybody speaking Italiano right now. I don't see anyone speaking. It's mainly everyone's English. This guy's been following me, so it's time to use some speed hacks to really get out of here. Wait for it. There we go. So, even, this looks like vanilla, like, sprint jumping, but it's actually a little bit faster, so it's a very subtle speed hack. But the guy's still keeping up, so just as I thought, he's hacking as well. Man, this server is full of hackers. Everyone's breaking the rules. I mean, it's wild. Even though the Vatican server, it tries to be family-friendly, it tries to put those rules in place. Look at this, I'm just openly speed hacking right now. And there's water. It's time to do as Jesus would do. I am walking on water. I am Jesus Christ, everybody. Fit MC is doing as Jesus would do. As your Messiah, I urge you to hit that subscribe button right now. Oh yes, now let's go into the nether. Ah, oh, what? Ah, uh, to be fair, I was cheating, but they were watching me. God is always watching you on the Vatican's Minecraft server. My thoughts on this server overall, from a Minecrafter's perspective, it's not a bad server. It's got your survival, it's got some moderation going on. But as far as this vision of the family-friendly Christian Minecraft server, uh, the server definitely has some work to do. But, you know, like I said, I actually applaud Padre for trying something like this, you know? I mean, in this day and age in the internet, to do something like this actually is pretty bold. So he has my respect, 100%. Well, I guess if I want to play right now, I'm going to have to hop on an alternate Minecraft account, which, speaking of which, I have so many Minecraft accounts that I use that it can be hard to remember all of my passwords. Dashlane makes it easy to manage everything. They autofill all your personal info like addresses, credit cards, passwords, etc. They also have a VPN so you won't be tracked when you're browsing the internet and can access content in any country. 
They generate super secure passwords, plus all the passwords that you do store with them are encrypted, making a password manager the safest place to store your info. To install it for free on your first device, go to dashlane.com slash fitmc. And you can use code fitmc for an additional 10% off additional devices. That's it for today's video, everyone. Let me know what you thought of this type of video down in the comments, because I love doing 2B2T content, but side content like this I also enjoy, you know? It's kind of good to mix it up once in a while, but let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy, Fit Fam, and we'll see you next time.